Hello! In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this paper mache mushroom hat crown thing. Um, I've seen so many other people make these out of fabric, felt, crochet, all sorts of different techniques, um, but I honestly think this might be one of the easier ways to make one, and also like the lowest cost. And um, I was inspired by my friend Cora, who sent me these really beautiful butterfly mushroom earrings. She sent me a few other cottage core inspired earrings. These little acorns were super cute. I, I love them. And then I was like, man, I gotta make a mushroom hat. So what I did is I built a little base out of EVA or Ava foam. Um, you could blow up a balloon and get the same effect, but I wanted to use gravity to help me out a little bit. So as you can see, the Ava foam kind of naturally just pushes into that mushroom shape. And I also wanted my mushroom hat to be slightly more um, conical or conical. I don't, I don't know words. Um, so that's why I opted for this. Uh, you could use cardboard or even like plastic or basically anything. And if you want like a rounded shape again, blow up a balloon and literally just start working right on to the balloon. Um, but I think I really, I really like the effect that this gave me. So I'm using a ripped up piece of newspaper for the first layer. It's kind of nice to use um, thinner paper with paper mache um, just because you can saturate it a little bit easier. And in a little bit, I switched to using feed bags. Um, I will just switch over to that clip so you can see me collect garbage. Running away, running away. I'm sorry, you guys. You should go in the barn. It's really cold. Anyway, so um, I ran out of, I don't have enough newspaper, so I'm going to use old feed bags. Um, you could use newsprint. Print. I don't know how to say it like that. You can use newsprint. Um, the best kind of paper mache paper is just like, it's like just paper. You know, it's it can absorb stuff. You can use magazines, but it doesn't work quite as good because that glossy finish is kind of, it just kind of messes stuff up. Ugh. Two, maybe one more. I'm making a big hat. That one has some stuff in it yet. You can see how crazy it is. But here's the fun thing. It's like you can see that there's these are just garbage, basically. You can make really cool stuff out of garbage. So don't get rid of your garbage. Hoard it for forever. And then my geese are mad because they think they're getting a snack. All right, so now it's all this consistent color. It's all this, like, brown color that was the inside of the feed bag. It's totally fine. You can use whatever you want. Just make sure that it's not like, again, that glossy texture isn't going to work. Um, and then I do another layer of paper mache on the inside, just where anything looks uneven or like it needs a little more reinforcement. Um, my paper mache mixture is glue, flour, and a little bit of soap um, and water, obviously. And then to make sure I get everything as dry as I possibly can, I just used a, a hair dryer and the cat did not like that. I do not know why he ran away because he has had a bath before and he has been blow dried before. But I guess in this context, he didn't like it. So anyway, I'm air drying the inside of my mushroom, um, making sure I try to get all of the lumps and bumps smoothed out. Um, just to give it a little extra time. The outside is pretty dry because it's been flipped over. This whole, like the inner bell has not had much air time. So I just want to make sure everything's good and not going to collapse. Um, and yeah. Oh, and I hope you guys can kind of understand by just working on the table, it naturally just kind of creates the brim. I did add a little extra paper mache around the corners, but it kind of just flattens the way you want it to just by working on a flat surface, surprise. And then, because I'm doing a fly amanita mushroom, I'm painting it bright red and mixing a little bit of purple in, just for some shading. Um, but I'm kind of just putting it right onto the mushroom cap. I don't really, I didn't feel like I needed a little palette because I wasn't really mixing it um, perfectly or precisely. Um, if you wanted, you could sand down any like lumps or imperfections, but I, didn't really care, and mushrooms just are not perfect shapes. I think you get a better effect if you leave 
some imperfections if you make it a little bit uneven. Um, of course, it's all up to you. You do whatever you want. But I just didn't want it to be super, super perfect. I wanted it to be kind of lumpy and bumpy. And also, I wanted this project to be done. So I just wasn't that worried about it. Um, which is why I'm calling this like the easiest DIY mushroom hat tutorial ever because it really probably only took me about a, a day of working time to finish this entire project. I would say probably three days of drying time though. So you just need to make sure you give your paper mache a lot of time to dry all the way because you don't want it to like start falling apart while you're painting it or wearing it. Um, and the most fun was putting on the little dots. It doesn't really look like a mushroom until you put the dots on. And then it all kind of comes together. Um, I'm just doing it kind of randomly, splotchy all over the place. Some are bigger, kind of towards the base of the mushroom. I tried to make the dots a little bit bigger, but there was really no rhyme or reason to this. Um, I think this project would be really fun to do with kids because there's just not a way to, you just can't mess it up, I feel like. There's no way to mess this up. So here I am wearing it at the end, checking on the sheep, just being a weirdo, sitting in some hay, and I think the effect is really, really cool. Like, it really looks like a mushroom. Look at it. I did not paint the inside. I might do it later. I might even put, like, lace or something in there, but I honestly think even, even though you can see that it's paper mache, it still looks fine. Like, that is kind of the color of the underside of one of these mushrooms. Um, and again, being kind of imperfect, I think makes it look a little bit better. So anyway, here's some uh, b-roll of me just being a dork in my big dumb mushroom hat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you make a mushroom hat. If you do, please let me know. Please let me know if it turned out. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later.